So in this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to remove noise without losing sharpening in your image. It's a huge problem when most people use noise reduction, their images get super plasticky and unrealistic. I'm going to show you how to do it the right way, how to do it the pro way, and we're going to get it done under two minutes. That's why we have a stopwatch here. Before we begin, a quick caveat, you will need the studio version, which is the paid version of Resolve to get that done because we're going to be accessing their motion effects module right here. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. This image is from Pocket 4K. It's from a documentary that I graded a while back, which you can check out on my website. So here's the grade, and now we're going to go ahead and clean it up. So if I punch in and show you this, there is a ton of noise, okay? This is borderline unsalvageable, especially if it's going to be a documentary um, or a finished piece that's going to go out there to festivals, whatever have you. So let's clean this up. I know that this is going to require quite a bit of work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select three frames here and then under motion estimate type, I'm going to select better. You can select faster and one frame if it's not as bad as this. And then under temporal threshold, I'm going to crank that up to somewhere around 23 ish. And if I do before and after, boom, we're most of the way there. We still have a lot of RGB noise, like this gunky noise instead of like a beautiful monochromatic grain that you get from film. So what I'm going to do is unlink this chain right here under spatial threshold. And then I'm going to select my chroma and I'm going to crank it up to somewhere around 7.6 ish. And that's going to take care of that gunky RGB noise. And now if I do before and after, it's gone. We're good. So like focus on this area right here before. Look at all of this. And then this is after. So let's sharpen it a little bit. I don't think we need to, but let's just do it for the sake of it. So I'm going to go under this tool that's called blur. And what we're going to do, instead of adding blur, we're going to subtract some blur, meaning we're adding sharpening into our image. So 0.47 is more than enough. Don't overdo this tool. Look at the eyes before and after, before and after. And then the last touch would be to just add film grain because that will also add to the illusion of sharpening. And it also makes it beautiful, gives it more of a film look and adds, adds more texture just in general. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. We got this done under two minutes. And uh, if I take all three of these changes that we have made and punch in, look at in this area. This is before. Look at how gunky it is, how nasty it is. And then this is after. All right. Now, if you want it just a pristine, clean image and you don't want to deal with the grain, it's easy. Just turn it off. So here you go. Now you got a much cleaner image. But I personally love the grain. I feel like it just adds a lot more texture. So guys, there you have it. If you want to learn more about color grading, then definitely check out my free webinar. This will cover every advanced topic that you need to know before you grade your first professional gig. It also comes with tons of freebies, practice footage, power grades, and LUTs by me. So check it out. Link is in the description. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness, and please Drop some suggestions about the Quick Tip Tuesday uh, series in the comment section below. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one.